This is testimony from the borders, March 16, 2023, according to today's standards, today's schedule, today's calendar. And question, when is Ramadan 2023? Of course, in the Muslim world, they celebrate Ramadan. Now, when we were in the lands of our captivity, Ramadan had no effect on us. Someone asking, why do we have to hear a new story about Ramadan? When you come within the borders, no matter where you are, you in wrong locations, you're in a Muslim country, you're in the Muslim world, and Ramadan will have a major, major effect on you. It will have a major effect on you. Now, you're not in the borders, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Because we didn't deal with these things. It says, the auspicious month of Ramadan, favorable month, is a time for reflection, contemplation, and celebration. To help you prepare for the Barak month, this Ramadan, we have provided key dates to be aware of below. The Islamic calendar follows the phases of the moon. Number one, many people don't know this. We didn't know this. Upon arriving in the border, we were ignorant and many things we didn't know. And today, we are completely ignorant. People outside the borders, they are completely ignorant to the things that goes on within the borders. To the people, to the people's belief, they are ignorant. And when you're ignorant of a matter, you have no business speaking on it. But what we do we speak on a matter we're ignorant about and we make ourselves look like fools. This is what we do. This is what our people do. If you're ignorant on the matter, it's best to keep your mouth closed. Because we end up saying something ignorant. This is what ignorant people, when you're ignorant to a certain thing, you normally say ignorant things about it because you don't have no knowledge. It's like scripture. People ignorant of scripture, they say ignorant things about scripture. Oh, man wrote the Bible. You see? Man wrote the Bible. This is all we heard growing up. So, it follows the fate they follow the phases of the moon. Now, this their belief, this is what they're doing. We know the moon comes in 10 days too soon. Well, when we first got here, we didn't know this. All we, we realized, wait a minute, they were having it this month. And now it starts in this month. Then it went back backwards. It went back to the next month. And it took us a while to realize what was going on. Because the first time we noticed they were having the Ramadans in the summer, in the heat of the summer. We were wondering, why would you have Ramadan? During the summertime, well, again, they're going according to the lunar counter, and it comes in 10 days too soon, which means they will be going backwards. It will be in April. Now, it's, it's March. Then time goes on. It's going to hit February. And then it's going to hit January. And I have to say this. Some of our people are doing the same thing. They are doing the same thing. It says, the Ramadan start date for 2023 is expected to begin Wednesday, March the 22nd. Now, this is why we have to know this. The people in the borders, you have to know this. It will start March 22nd around sundown. They're similar to what the people did in Torah when it comes to this. They start things sundown. Uh, their dates begin sundown. Following the sighting of the moon over Mecca lasting 30 days. Ramadan will end on Friday, April 21st with celebration of Eid al-Fitr starting on Saturday, April 22nd or Sunday the 23rd depending on the moon. Depending on the, the moon this is going to all depend on the moon now now we get to the part where how does this affect us how does ramadan affect us simple 
they're on a schedule. And when they go on Ramadan schedule, it starts next week, Thursday. Schedule First thing first, the first day of Ramadan, the people are off from work, no matter what your belief is. You're off work, just like in, in America, when Christmas come around, our people don't celebrate Christmas anymore. But if they work at a company, they don't go to work. Why? They're shutting down. They shut down. Your, your schedules change big time. This thing took some while to get used to. Like, whoa, it will cut and shorten your schedule. Your days will be shorter. They try not to work too long. So everybody, everybody, your days shorten. And when they're off, when it's the eating time, when the fasting is over, it's like this is when the, everything has to stop. Everything, everything stops and they... They go ahead on and eat. Now, how did how else if this is affecting us? When they stop to eat, many things will close. Businesses will close. You better know what stores will be open and what stores will be closed. Now, what do I mean about that? Some Christians, they may still have a, a mom pop grocery store where you can still go get your get some food or whatever you need. But if you don't have a Christian mom and pop store around you, you ain't going to be able to buy nothing until after 8 p.m. From around 6 to 8, you won't be able to buy anything. You try to go to a store somewhere, close. You need something. Close. You have to know their schedule. Another point for anybody, if you want to be sensitive to what they're doing, and the Most High would not want us to be, he would not want us to be, not us to be unsensitive. What I'm trying to say here, we have to have, we have to give them some respect <clears throat> when it comes to this. Now, what, what am I trying to say here? When they're fasting, true story, couple true stories here. One is very funny. When they're, when they're fasting, there are some people just not sensitive to what they're doing and i've seen this christians they know they're they, they know the muslim fasting christians will pull out food but i'm not muslim i'm not fasting and they will begin to eat good smelling food drinking these people are hungry and thirsty and they will sit there and eat in front of their faces the most High would want us to be respectful and not blankly eating in their face while they're fasting. This is their belief. So we should on. We have to learn how to honor and respect others' belief. This is one of the things they do in Muslim countries. They honor and respect each other's beliefs. They don't trash each other. They Christians, we accept them. They Muslims, we accept them. They even honor they each other's holidays how they not a christian but they're putting up stuff christians put up when it's christmas time they're trying to have a christmas dinner this is something we we fall short so we we try not to eat in their face in their faces while they're fasting they're suffering then we have to remember we have to remember they're fasting I had one telling me, I, 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 I'm, I'm in the midst of doing something. My mind ain't even on Ramadan. I'm busy. <clears throat> one, man, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. He kept saying, I'm th I said, well, get something to drink. He said, I can't. It's Ramadan. I'm fasting. I put my hand on my head and I felt shameful. I felt like, oh my goodness, I forgot. And he kept saying, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. We can easily tend to forget. Now, let me tell you, this is a true story. It is funny. I don't care. You can laugh at me. <laughs> I laugh at myself when it happened. Very funny. At least I think it's very funny. You might not find it funny. Some people may not find it funny. 
At the time, it was not funny to me. After it happened, after I got home, okay, it was very funny. So one day, I was in the building. It's Ramadan. You want to know how Ramadan affects us over here? Here we go. It's Ramadan. I'm out. And I'm in the building. And I was busy. Once again, I'm in the building and I'm busy. I'm doing my work. I'm doing my job. I'm busy. Everybody left out the building because... The fasting is about to be over. And they locked me inside the building. They forgot I was in the room. Man, the time came. I was finished doing what I was doing. I was I know it was it was quiet. It was very quiet. And I knew they were supposed to leave and leave me in the building. The last one just forgot and locked the locked the building up from the outside. I have no key. There's no lock to turn, no padlock. And I couldn't get out the building. Man, it's time to go home. And I'm stuck in the building. So the buildings, the buildings have doorkeepers. Mostly all the buildings, you will find doorkeepers. And you have to know the doorkeepers are the buildings that you're going in and out of. So long story short, I'm stuck in the building. I got the window open. They got bars, uh, fancy looking bars on the window. Can't can't get out the window, but the window is open so that air can come in. And I'm yelling for the doorkeeper. I had to stand. <laughs> I had to stand on something to get up to the window. Once I got up to the window, I'm yelling his name. Come on, come on. <laughs> I felt like I was in prison. <laughs> I literally felt like I was in prison and I can't get out. And I was hollering, come on, come on. And he didn't answer. I saw it. I walked around the building. I went back to the door. I tried to get out. I couldn't get out. I go back to the window. Yes, I stood in a chair and I had a footprint. I had two footprints in that chair, but I couldn't reach the window. Some of these windows are very high up, depending on what building you're in, to look out. And so here I am again. Come on! Come on! Finally, after 20, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, I saw a little kid. Come on! And I'm telling the kid, get come on! Finally, he came and unlocked the door, and I got out to go home. But... If I know what I know now, when everybody was leaving, and I knew when everybody was leaving, it was noisy. I knew everyone was leaving, and I was going to be in the building, but I didn't think they were going to lock me inside. I should have went to the door when the last person, when they start going out, I should have went to the door. Don't forget, I'm in here. Don't forget, I'm in here. So I was locked inside of a building if you don't know ramadan schedule you can be locked inside of a building or worse now you have to wait either to eight o'clock or maybe all night if they're not coming back to the building so yes no one understand when ramadan is this is testimony from the borders